in the moment I was like, okay. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to another day in the fry life and have we mentioned lately that life feels a little crazy at the moment. Uh, there's just a lot of details that are either looming or in the works in progress or things that we have to get to that we know are future and all the things you if you've been living in a hole or away from the fry life we're moving and there's a lot of moving parts in that and a lot of things in our current situation that we're still focused on and still invested in and so there's a lot of moving parts and so uh, sometimes it feels a little overwhelming and you just got to get one thing done at a time and so I've been checking things off the list this morning phone calls and emails and Mary and I are actually just going to get out of the house here for a little bit go get some food and do a little shopping and uh, I've got a meeting this evening and so in the midst of everything we're just going to try to just soak up a little bit of time out of the house right now so here we go. All right, we came, we ate, we conquered, and now we are going to go into the craft store. Mary has some uh, some things she wants for. Well, I need to get more tiny pots. Tiny pots for the tiny succulents, you know? So we're gonna go do that, and uh, we might go into, there's, a furniture outlet next door that we might go in and think about our new house a little bit but let's go find some tiny pots the other night we were hanging out with friends and they were asking us a little bit about our week at Duke the transplant eval week and I was reliving the uh, arterial blood gas oh, yeah. and I like started feeling faint I was like getting really nervous they've already scheduled me I got in I got all the notifications that they've already scheduled all my appointments like my next transplant uh, follow-up appointments and they've scheduled like PFTs six minute walk test and ABG because um, they never so she when she got the needle jammed into me like blood came but then it stopped working and so they never got the blood draw. Um, I thought they were just gonna redo it right there, but they said, no, we're not gonna try again. So anyway, they're gonna try again next time I'm there. And I'm already like... Feeling queasy about it? I, I guess, I guess I was like, in the moment I was like, okay. <laughs> I've been, usually I can finish your sentences, but uh, I don't know where she was going with that, but. Well, while we have this coughing intermission, I'll say, aren't you glad we, we're friends? Have you been checked? Because they put me on an inhaler. Oh, she, she has a cystic fibrosis. It's oh, a genetic okay. lung disease. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. oh, I was like that because you can hear oh, it in my voice. Yeah. I've had laryngitis. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah, because I kept coughing and coughing and there was nothing there. So huh. Well, feel good. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you. I think I was saying like, I felt like, oh yeah, go ahead and try again. I guess the fact that I had just passed out, I was like, might as well try again. I don't know. But now there's been enough time for me to like, that was not an ideal scenario. You'll be totally fine. So you say, <laughs> it's gonna be great. I mean, last time you got a magical nap. That's true. All right, she found the tiny pots. Okay, those will work. But then I need like really tiny. Really tiny? Yeah. <laughs> like your glass jars tiny? You want more glass jars? Like for pro your little craft jars? No, you want them for planning, not. Right, with okay. a whole glass. Yeah, okay. <coughs> so where should I we look? I think in the dollhouse section they might have some. Okay. I feel like I've seen them. But okay. if this is all that they have, then we'll come back and get more of those. Okay. But I think three might be good. Okay, we found 
the little tiny things section of dollhouse. A tiny park bench if you need one. What about like um There's a tiny one but it already has a plant. What about that little thing? I don't know what it is. It is kinda cute. Yeah. It doesn't have a drainage hole. Could we make one? I don't know. Hmm. It's always a little dangerous when Mary starts looking at tiny things. They're real metal tools. Like the the, the wrench and whatever. I'm sure they would be really useful. That thing opens. Wow. Wow, that's so cute. And who knew that you just needed to come to the craft store for lungs and a liver? Check. All right, you want to show the people? What did you get? <gasps> <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> I saw, <clears throat> when we talked about a new season of The Fry Life, somebody requested that Kinder Time returns. Oh. Well, here's your little version of Kinder Time. Look at that. It's simple joys, you know? Little heavy things bring Mary a lot of joy. My sister was like, I wish that I could hold tiny heavy things and have as much joy as you get from them. <laughs> but she was like, it doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> And uh, so let's try it on you. Okay, ready for the pass off? Yeah. You know? Spark and joy? It sparks joy <laughs> for me to see you get joy from these tiny little things. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. Hey, do you remember that tiny little rubber cow we used to have? Yes. And then it like disappeared? Yes. Wow. Um, but for real, where is the factory that these are made? <laughs> that, like tiny hammers all in a row. <laughs> <laughs> we just got back from stopping in that furniture store and I just about started crying because there was a child who was asking questions, or kind of saying out loud like, oh look a doggy. And her mom explained it to her so well. And she was like, when service dogs have their harnesses on, it means they're on duty and so we don't touch. And um, just like really respectful that service dogs are working and that and sort of explaining, thing. explaining like that they help people and so that's why we don't want to distract them. And it was really sweet. And then I ended up when I saw them again later in the store, I said to the mom, thank you so much. And like, I legitimately almost started crying. So I was like, thank you for explaining it to them. And she was like, oh, I think it's just a really important thing for them to be aware of. And so, major thumbs up for them. All right, we are home from our little shopping extravaganza. And I need to get a little bit of work done before my meeting tonight. So I'm gonna get that, get to it. Since last time we... Wow, I don't think that was English. Since the last time you guys stopped in, Peter went to a meeting, he was gone. I did my vest and stuff. And now I'm just making some rice and gravy as you do at 10.48 at night. Really normal, right? <laughs> but hey, when my appetite <coughs> tells me to eat, I eat. And tonight it's rice and gravy. We have these, what well, we had, now it's gone. Brown rice in the freezer that you put in the microwave for three minutes. And it's quite good. Each, I think we mentioned this, learn what you can from each chapter of life. And specifically when we were talking about it, we were talking about where we lived and learning from each place and appreciating what, learning to appreciate things at each place. Anyway, we lived with an elderly man and we took care of his house and his yard and we made him meals in exchange for rent, staying in the basement of his house. And we did that for about six months, the second half of our first year of marriage. And th that rice is one of the things we learned during that time. That rice is from Trader Joe's and it's a good, just something to have on hand for like a quick, like midnight snack type of thing. So anyway, learn what you can from each stage of life. Now I realize how silly that sounds that what we learned 
or I alluded to the fact that what we learned in that stage was about microwavable rice, but we, we learned a lot more than that. We learned about um, committing to taking care of this man and the time commitment that that was. And I think a lot of couples our age had a lot of freedom to go out and do what they wanted to do. And we, we were at dinner every night with Jack and we learned so much during that time and we really enjoyed our time with Jack. It also became difficult because his health was worsening. Like I said, he was elderly and my health was worsening. So um, when the time came that we needed to leave, it was right, but we really did learn a lot during those six months. Just for the record, I have this teeny tiny, actually I made this pot when Peter and I took a ceramics class. And I have this teeny tiny plant in there and there was a little piece of like mulch stuck in the soil there. And just for the record, I used these tiny pliers or whatever these are and I got the tiny piece of mulch out and they came in handy. So yeah, they are useful. <coughs> <sighs> all right, I'm gonna fill up all my pills, and as always, as always, we will see you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night, buddy.